welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be testing out a product that I received for my birthday. Um, if you watched my vlog, then you saw me open these Chinese painting pigments. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know the legitimacy of this product. Um, I've heard of Paul Rubens before, but I've never used any Paul Rubens product. And so I don't know if these just like say that they are Chinese painting pigments or if they are the real deal. So we're going to try them out together. I also wanted to take a minute and really quickly reintroduce myself to anyone that's a new subscriber or that missed my first ever video, but hi, I'm Victoria, I'm 30 years old, and I recently started my journey back to being an artist. I took a long break from art because I was feeling really um, just unmotivated and uninspired um, and I decided it was finally time to step back into one of my favorite things which is making art. I plan on sharing the process behind my art, some of my knowledge, limited as it may be, um, little snippets from my life, and overall just my journey to becoming well I don't really know what I'm gonna become um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to have some sort of like metamorphosis, but <laughs> I'm hoping to become more confident in my art and take this journey towards self-discovery. Um, so if you'd like to take that journey with me, please, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. I promise I'm not always this awkward, or at least I can um, sort of mask it rather well at times, but I look forward to building a community here and sharing all of the things that I have to share. So thanks for watching and I really do hope that you stick around. But first, of course, you know, a girl's gotta eat. So please watch me. No, I mean, I'm not gonna like beg you to watch me. That's weird. Um, feel free to watch me indulge in this grocery store sushi bowl um it's actually really good i get sushi from kroger all the time i know that's like taboo to have grocery store sushi but it's always really good and i've never gotten sick it's always fresh so yeah it was super good and i enjoyed it so these are the paul rubens gukai chinese painting pigments and due to the presence of mica in them they have a nice little shiny effect especially in the light and they are traditionally meant to be used with rice paper i will be using them with watercolor paper they are not watercolors but they are water soluble and as you can see here the size is pretty generous um typically you'll get like a pan or a half pan with these types of sets but i think that's about one and a half pans worth and so now I'm going to just sketch out a quick grid so I can make a swatch sheet so that we can see how these behave on watercolor paper. of silence for past Victoria when she realized that she'd miscounted. So after some fiddling off camera, 
I now have my completed swatch sheet. And for anybody that doesn't know, the purpose of the swatch sheet is just to get a feel for what the colors look like when they are on paper. Um, generally, you would want to use the paper that you intend to use with your medium. So for instance, I would not have swatched this on copy paper because it's way too thin and probably wouldn't give me an accurate representation of how it would look on the paper I intend to use it on. So hopefully this will also give you guys a little insight into what these paints look like um, when you use them in case you're interested in buying them. So here we go and we're off to a great start with me blocking the camera with my hand but anyways that was color 100 and it's sort of a pearly white really pretty actually so the thing that you're going to potentially notice or if you don't I'm gonna tell you but the opacity and color payoff varies greatly between the colors in this set and for anyone that doesn't know, opacity just refers to the amount of light that you're going to have coming through. So um, black generally is very opaque. Um, you're not going to see much light come through, whereas lighter colors typically are a little bit more transparent or less opaque. Um, with these, I just noticed that whether the colors were light or dark didn't really have that much effect on the opacity of the color, and some of them had this very strange sort of powdery consistency to them, and so when you started to overwork them or attempted to pick up more color, the paint itself would get very clumpy, um, sometimes it would look streaky whenever I swatched it, and I will point out a few colors um, later on that I thought swatched really well, and then some that showed this sort of streaky clumpiness that I'm talking about. And here I'm just demonstrating how these can be reactivated with water and how you could blend them out to lower the opacity of each color. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite colors from this set. This one right here is super pretty. It's like a greenish blue and it looks like fairy wings. Um, this one is a really pretty iridescent light purple, um, sort of lilac-y, really pretty. Um, and this gold was really nice. Um, I'll probably use this one a lot. And then next I got a blue color, which was really pretty. And most of the ones I picked, um, they were super opaque and as you'll see there's that pastiness I was talking about earlier and lastly we have this beautiful bronze that might just be my favorite out of the whole set yeah so here is the finished swatch sheet and you will notice that a lot of the colors do look a little bit streaky um, if I'm being completely honest, I probably wouldn't have purchased this of my own volition had I known how the colors performed, but I think this is really great for adding details to paintings, um, a little flair, if you will. But yeah, let's paint with them now. So I thought it would be cool to test them out by drawing armor, um, because there's like a lot of really nice metal reminiscent colors in this. We've got the gold, the bronze, like a copper color, and then a few different silver colors. So I'm drawing this really neat looking set of armor right here. Um, I'm not a <laughs> armor aficionado, so I don't even know what this is called. Um, I think maybe it's called a curie? A curious? 
Okay, I just looked it up and I'm actually right, although I'm pretty sure I pronounced it totally wrong. Um, but yeah, it looks like Hiris, maybe? Um, and then the placard and faults pieces as well. Um, I don't know if this is like an all-in-one type thing that I decided to draw here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna sketch this out and then we'll get to painting. Okay, we've got the little base here and so now I'm gonna be choosing colors. And I'm gonna try to find the reference photo that I used for this. I have one for the next painting I do, but I did not save one for this. So if I find it, I'll put it right here. What do you think? Okay, so here's the last thing I'm gonna do to test out these painting pigments. Um, I wanted to keep on the theme of drawing metal, so I did the armor first, and now I'm going to draw a copper kettle. Um, and you'll see my reference photo here in a second. But I wanted to draw the kettle because I just think that copper is really pretty, and I love how metal um, has this like really confusing effect of being able to draw in light and color. Um, and typically the surface is not flat, so those colors and shapes get distorted. And I just really wanted to practice um, painting metal objects. So here are the colors I'm planning on using. The palette didn't really have like a super specific copper color, so I'm planning on combining some of these to try to get as close to copper as I can. The sort of like um, burgundy here m mixed with the orange did like a really decent job of looking coppery and then the bronze colors did well to portray like the darker shades on the kettle. So even though these aren't watercolors, I was using them a lot like watercolors by laying down a really thin layer to begin and then just building up as I went on. 
and this worked pretty well for these. Um, I tried to leave the lightest areas completely devoid of paint and that worked good for my highlights.